Okay, good day and welcome to my channel and where we are going to do a sort of video post-mortem as it were on this um, old boiler. There is the model number and there is the serial number, the rating plate, and we've removed the ridiculous old the little valve that comes with this the sight glass went here and this is where this skim tapping was you can get a shot interiorly of the upper uh, section joined together with the push nipples and we've pretty well stripped it down and you can see it did not fail at the usual spot the water at or above the water line that is intact and nice and clean. Where it appears to have failed is the bottom section seal, at least one or two. You can see it really rusted out the firebox there. So let's get a shot of the firebox. There's the cast iron the tag there's the uh, looks like the manufacturing date we've removed the burner tubes and we'll get a shot of inside the firebox there and it is pretty crusty So the uh, installer, this is where the um, relief valve went, and this is the uh, riser equalizer line. Uh, the T is installed installed improperly, and one can argue that the materials are also improper. They should have had the T here with the uh, bull looking up, and it should have prob also been uh, threaded steel. And there is the return, or this is the equalizer line here. There is the Hartford loop connection um, with inch and a quarter going into uh, one inch there. There's the uh, drain on the, that's the real wet return. And there's the return from the front and the back loops ah this is where the vxt was um mounted sideways and there is the uh where the flu connection was let's get a shot inside of there seen worse and there's the connection it goes into a, a T, and the rear of the building is there, and there's the drip for the wet return. And there's then going to the front of the building, where we'll probably, we're going to drill and tap for a... Uh, a main vent and the wet return then comes back pretty high so that's really a dry return and it really doesn't turn into a wet return until it's this area so we're going to split this and drop this individually we're going to pretty much put uh we're going to put a slightly smaller boiler of the same manufacturer in here um, frank determined that this boiler is too big based on the connected load and so we're going to put in a smaller boiler that more closely matches the, uh, the load. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, let me know if you have any questions or concerns. And uh, be well.